What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is my top 10 tweaks part 14 video. I just want to take a moment and say thank you to all the developers, all of your collective work that has made jailbreaking such a big hit and success. It makes your device so much funner, so much better, and I just want to say thank you. Now, there has been a recent influx in jailbreak tweaks. There's a lot that I want to show you guys, and these are all brand new, all awesome, and of course, they are compatible only on iOS 8.1.2 and lower. Unfortunately, iOS 8.1.3 cannot be jailbroken at the moment, but as you guys know, 8.2 will be able to in the future. You guys will need two custom sources in this video. So if you want to get the full tweak list, all the custom sources, you will need the wallpaper I'm using in this video, as well as some bonus tweaks. Click on the link down there and it will take you to my article where you can find all of those in a list there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. These are 10 brand new tweaks and this is an amazing collection. I think you guys will love it. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the very first tweak. Uh, let me just put it in. Damn it, I forgot my password. So this is what it is. Guys, this is a lock screen tweak that pretty much activates any video, any background in this manner when attempting to unlock your device with the wrong passcode. So as you guys can see, I did put in one incorrect attempt, and this is the famous computer hacking scene from Jurassic Park, one of my favorite movies ever. I think it's super cool. So there are a couple ways to deactivate it. Let me go ahead and show you the settings. I have mine set to uh, press the power button and it goes away. Otherwise, you can set it to Touch ID, or if you disable both of those, you have to wait until the device actually goes to sleep and then it goes away. So it's a very useful tweak for keeping intruders out. You know, play a prank on your friends. I think it's super cool. Now, this is the only one I have installed. Uh, it's the one from Jurassic Park. Uh, otherwise, you can put in custom videos, custom backgrounds to whatever you like. That's the cool thing about this. So you do need to respring in order for changes to take effect. But here you choose your background. As you guys can see, mine is set to that blue one from Jurassic Park. And you can enable full screen video if you don't want a background. You can choose the videos in there. So really fun tweak. It's called Ah Ah Ah. You do need a custom repo for this, but it's definitely a tweak. I would encourage you to download, try out, prank your friends. It's a really cool little tweak. Now I'm all for simplifying and Simple Centers is a very beautiful way of simplifying your device, including the Notification Center and the Control Center. So as you guys can see, I only have one tab and this is only information I choose to have in here. It really cleans up the look of both the Notification Center and your Control Center. So you can choose to remove any aspect inside of the notification center, any one which you don't like to keep. And a setting I actually like is if you have notifications and you drag this down, it'll open up automatically in the notifications. Otherwise, it opens up in the today view. So in the control center, it's a little bit different. It looks really clean. Uh, let me move this guy out of the way. Uh, so this is actually a really clean interface for your control center. It removes all the shadows, the outlines for the icons, and you're left with this. The music controls are no longer there. They're only there when you're playing music. You can remove air drop altogether to make this even shorter. So let me go ahead and show you the settings. So in here, there's just two settings for notifications and control center, and of course a toggle to turn it on and off. Now in control center, there is so much you can change in here, actually in both of them. But for example, just the ones I have enabled is it's gonna hide my media, like I did say, if I'm not playing anything, and there's a lot in here. You can remove the blur, add blur, same thing for notification center. And the control center is a little bit more extensive, but in here, there is plenty of settings. I mean, so much to play around with but in the end the purpose of it is just to clean up the look of your control center remove things you don't need from it also the notification center to make it a more cleaner interface for iOS 8. Now here's widget center. Now I still firmly believe to this day that reach app was probably the best reachability tweak ever made. Nothing can top it. However that doesn't mean that there aren't other good reachability tweaks out there it's just reach app was the most useful. So here's widget center. Widget center puts widgets up in your reachability view and it does a very good job at it. So let me go ahead and open up an application, say messages, and if I open up my reachability view real quick, it'll bring down these toggles. Now, why add toggles up there if they're down there? Well, there's many you can add, and not only these, you can download some other ones from Cydia, and in here, let me just show you a couple of other ones. So, you want to drag up the one you have up on top, and currently have the control center toggles. Let me put up the music controls. Now, when you double tap, there you go. You have a music controller up there. Now I see this being useful is if you disable the music down here, you can't actually activate it. So it's a really nice way to activate music without having to go into the iPod and keeping this tweak down here. So besides that, here's a time as well. 
as you can see right there, super cool. And this setting down here just enables the grayed out area down here when you enable it. So as you can see, everything grays out. You can turn that off and on here. And you can change the positioning using this guy right here, top or bottom. Very clean little reachability widgets. All right, so here's actually one of my favorite tweaks I will be showing you today. Say you're playing a song, you lock your device, and on your lock screen, you now have the choice to change the look of the actual artwork. You can add themes to it. So this is the tear theme. And I gotta say, it looks great. It literally looks like it was there put by Apple. It looks so nice. And there's many choices to choose from. So in the custom cover settings, you can choose the theme and there are many to choose from here. So here's a CD case. As you can see, the album artwork is in a CD case. Uh, let's see, uh, vinyl. So a little vinyl cover. Uh, there's many to choose from and I think it's a really nice little element for the album artwork on your lock screen If you guys like the sticker function inside of the Facebook messenger application and want to bring it over to the iOS application for messages Here's sticker me and this is super cool. So it brings a next level of emoticons to iOS Taken straight from the Facebook Messenger, you now have this icon right here. And when you do click on it, you now have a selection of many different emoticons or stickers known from uh, Facebook Messenger. You can just put one in and it'll send right away. It looks really nice, it's just implemented right into here. If you don't need them, you just click out of it. Uh, and it was a super cool little function taken straight from the Facebook Messenger. Now, a note on installing it, when you do initially download it, it won't let you put these stickers in right away. You have to sign into Facebook Messenger, open up the Messenger application, send a message to someone, and only then do they appear in here. Otherwise, it does work perfectly after then. Works very nice. Definitely a really nice little addition to the stock iOS Messenger application. Now here is Stratus. Stratus is unreleased at the moment. However, you can download a free public beta, and it's a very lightweight replacement for your app switch. It reminds me a lot of OXO3. However, it's a little bit different. So here it is. Now you slide up. It completely replaces your app switcher and your control center. So you now have this interface where you can see all of your applications in a little view like this, four at a time, really cool. So if you slide all the way to the left, or actually one time left, you get your music player, slide one more, and here's your control center. Now I do recommend simple centers for this. It does work better. Otherwise, without simple centers, it's kind of cropped up here. Weird that I would recommend another tweak for this one, but this is still in beta. You know, it's not perfect at the moment, and you can, you know, erase apps just by doing that. So really lightweight tweak, absolutely free at the moment, and it will be released in final public format soon otherwise you know very lightweight replacement for your app switcher and control center and the cool thing about it is if you keep sliding all the way up you can open up your control center really neat now here's a lock screen tweak called grabber app 8 it allows you to replace that camera lock screen little function with any other application that you choose or add another one right here and i have messages currently added so you can add your passcode it's passcode compatible and it'll open up the application right away now here's rendaria 8 at least i think that's how you pronounce it it's actually a function i wish apple would have included in ios 8 so say here's a photo and this gives you the ability to customize the photo in many other manner of ways than what Apple gives you with the stock photo editing application. So you click on this little guy right here, and now you have all of these functions and you can enable which ones show up here or add more to photo edit your pictures. And the ones that I like is the ability to draw on top of it, add emoticons and add text. So you can add text of your choice anywhere onto the picture. You can draw on the picture using any colors. So you wanna point something out, save it real quick, send it off to someone. And it's a really cool way to just, you know, mark up, manipulate these photos, and then send them off real quick. There's a lot of settings, it's very extensive. Definitely check it out for yourselves. Now here's another camera tweak. It's called QR mode, and I always love camera tweaks. So it actually adds a QR scanner directly into the camera application. Slide over to scanner, and as soon as it notices any sort of QR code, it freezes on that code. Cool. And using that, you can actually see where it points to right now. That's the Google QR code. And there's actually a built-in browser right here. So you can directly go there. Super cool. This is a very well-made tweak. Really cool. So definitely would recommend it. Just adds another section to camera for a built-in QR code. No need for a separate app. The very last tweak is called Aoraki. Aurora key. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Uh, it's this little green guy you saw floating around earlier in the video, which you can move around. 
and it's amazing. I gotta say, this is probably one of the most useful tweaks, better than app button, better than any floating little circle that you've seen in other tweaks, app heads, chat heads. So when you open it up, it gives you a number of functions you can use from it. So the basic ones include reboot your device, you can shut it down from here, you can enter safe mode, you can respring, and up here is where things get interesting. So camera, it just opens up the camera real quick from within this tweak doesn't open up the camera application. The really cool thing about it is that you can share files and music. It has a built-in file browser, and let me go ahead and show you that. So you can share any file you choose. You go into anywhere you want, select a file, share it with another device. You can share music as well. This is super cool. So if you wanna go ahead and click on this guy right here, select a song, and it'll go ahead and allow you to share it via mail, via message, really cool. It gives you a lot of control over a lot of things in your device. Now, I'm not gonna have time to go over everything, but as you can see, it's actually insanely useful. And guys, there you go. So that's my next top 10 tweaks part 14 video. I really wasn't expecting to make this so soon, but there have been a huge influx of new tweaks and thanks to all the developers that made this video happen. Of course, I will be keeping you guys updated on any jailbreak news, and I'm gonna be making a video real soon about some very good piece of news that I have to share with you guys. Anyway, so I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, got some useful tweaks out of it. Again, if you want the tweak list, the sources, the wallpaper, and some bonus tweaks, click on the link right there. Otherwise, check out some of my previous tweak videos if you missed any, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Enjoy the tweaks. Peace.